Good day fellas, I hope you are ready for your extra daily dose of skill and today we are going to play with the Tiger P. Skill? Nani? Tiger P? Exactly, I'm reading your comments, I know what you want fellas, Tiger P it is. Uh, for some reason I remember we played with this tank kind of recently, but looking into this fellas, uh, we do not have any YouTube videos here, so I believe we can, we can play uh, three battles with Tiger P and figure out what it is. I remember playing with this tank for horrible Monday for sure. Anyways, if you are into the, if you are curious how expectation values are looking on Tiger P to get Mark of Excellence, it's 1,750. If you care how much you need to do in order to get Ace, or if you are curious about field modifications, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, feel free to check out the index page and you are going to find absolutely everything for yourself. And now without uh, further ado, let's teleport into the game and let's see um, what this tank is all about. And I want to believe, fellas, we are going to have a good session, okay? I want to believe so. So let's teleport into the round number one. And we are back, fellas. Um, yeah, quite interesting. If you would pay attention, what do we have? We have um, losing spawn in the mine. So this is going to be quite a challenge. Um, I will try to have a risk it for the biscuit um, strategy. By saying this, I will try to go on the field. Uh, if we are going to cross, it is going to be absolutely amazing. If we are not going to cross, then it is going to be a hashtag never lucky. Um, the thing is, speaking about the Tiger P as a tank, everything would be kind of okay with this vehicle. You have 240 alpha damage, you have 203 millimeters of penetration with a standard round, which is not bad whatsoever. Um, gold... Uh, ammunition on the tank is 237 millimeters of penetration and quite nice shell velocity so once again combination of the things wouldn't look that bad but unfortunately this tank um, has way weaker dpm than the standard tiger one and the armor of this vehicle is not much better uh, by saying this I mean there is plenty of uh, people who can penetrate you without aim and people who are aiming they can deal with you like there is no tomorrow as well uh, those are the weak spots this is cupola obviously this is a shoulder even though if you are side scrapping on the corner well especially if you are side scrapping on the corner this is becoming flat plate and even though if you are looking straight forward to the enemy like so what you need to keep in mind people can penetrate you uh, relatively easily here and this is very worth thing to highlight fellas at least that's what I think meanwhile luckily we found E25 and now we are going to show the dominance for him or at least we are going to attempt to at this point I am feeling relatively well fellas and I want to um, use my gun obviously and luckily for us we are not meeting heavy tanks in this position and this is the best part for us I would say. Um, we are approaching um, weaker opponents and that's what I was looking for. Good. Our Scorpion is getting involved a bit into this game as well. Uh, now there is one bad thing to say. And that bad thing is, as wrong as it sounds, it looks like we are winning this battle quite easily. And if we are winning this battle quite easily, we will need to figure out how to make pressure to the enemies eventually. And this is going to be quite a hard stuff to do. Meanwhile, let's take our time and let's try to eliminate him from the game. Beautiful, we are getting quite a bit of assisting damage. And... I know many of you might ask a question, Skill, why are you not playing into the heavy line? Well, the simple answer to your question is because this tank uh, cannot handle the heavy line in matchmaking like this. Even against the tier 7s, uh, if we are making decision to go and fight against the um, enemies who are playing uh, in the middle, we are struggling, okay? We are struggling quite a lot. Holy bananas, I almost uh, shit my pants because we received the subscription and I thought I am streaming. Whew. Okay, very nice. I have paranoia for this and there is nothing wrong about that, fellas. Um, there is a story. Once I was doing a YouTube video and I was streaming, okay? I clicked, I clicked the button uh, which is next to each other if that makes sense right so 
Yeah, hashtag never lucky. Anyways. Hmm. Okay, I am pretty happy with this performance considering how the things are looking like. Um, what kind of matchmaking do we have? And most importantly, what kind of map do we have? I would say we are pretty damn successful in this battle. I would say we are pretty damn successful, fellas. I'm going to aim for the side, just like so. Unfortunately, we are missing our shot, but it doesn't really change too much. I know the Stunner Emil is sitting in the back, and that's not good, because he will smack us for... He will smack us for 500 once again. Uh, that's not a big surprise, isn't it? I am very, very well aware of uh, this guy being there, okay? I know. Luckily for us, we are getting quite a bit of assisting damage and everything is looking relatively fine. Mm -hmm. Speaking about armor, you cannot expect to have any armor with this tank, okay? So, uh, let's have this out of the way instantly. And uh, in the same time, we are still feeling fine. Holy banana, so many missed shots. I'm a bit disappointed speaking about the gun accuracy, but it's okay. Uh, once again, what are the drawbacks of this vehicle? It is relatively slow as a tank. Uh, the gun handling is far away from being ideal, but it is not horrible. Um, so... All and all, it is quite an interesting tank, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, by any means, there is a reason why this tank is rated bad on the index. And uh, uh, I simply think majority of the tier 7 heavy tanks, they are better. You name the tank T29. There is nothing to compare. Tiger 1 with that amazing 280 um, alpha damage and good DPM. There is nothing to say. Um... 45 TP, uh, it is always also better with a better armor and better alpha damage and probably better um, gun handling uh, um, in the same time. You get the point what I am saying. Anyways, uh, 1,900 damage, 1 1.4 thousand assisting damage, that's pretty good. Once again, I am happy and we made 95,000 profits, although uh, 65,000 profits comes from the mission. Anyways, in 5 minutes in the losing spawn uh, to be third by the damage and second by experience, this is great performance. Let's go to the round number 2. And we are back. Okay, so what do we have? Um, we have a very, very good matchmaking for ourselves. It is truly amazing. Um... We are fighting against the tier 6s even though there is two Artas, it doesn't really matter because mo for most of the part we are going to play Arta safe at least in my opinion. So this should be a mm, relatively good game. So, how we are starting everything? We are starting everything in Russia. We are starting everything while yelling Russia and while trying to hit IMD but unfortunately um, we failed. Wait a bit, wait a bit, boom, beautiful, very nice. He's down to one shotable so I am feeling pretty good here. And all we need to do, we need to take this position here. Skill, why you like this position so much? The thing is, um, being heavy tank you don't necessarily need to be super aggressive and go in front like there is no tomorrow. Um, in many, many situations you can take aggressive enough position to help your heavy tanks, but in the same time you can cover other line as well, and this is absolutely amazing situation if you would ask me. Meanwhile, IMD, I don't know what's going on, indeed man, you do not know what's going on. This is the most accurate nickname in a while, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. I must admit this, I must um, give some kudos for this gentleman just for his name. He definitely doesn't know what's going on. Um, okay, what might happen in a second? Kava 2 will reload and then he will peek. If he is going to peek, we will try to punish him. Uh, can he penetrate our cupola? Yes, sir. He can penetrate our cupola 100%. He can definitely penetrate our cupola. This wouldn't be the smartest thing, I would say, um, for us to trade with a cover too, but if he is not penetrating us, we are feeling completely fine. And in fact, I would love this Vaka to die. If this Vaka will die, um, then we are up. Excellent shot. 
If this Vaka is dying, we can start making pressure and in fact I am going to go for it. So how the things are looking like, we are going to approach this T-150, hopefully we will be able to eliminate him from the game like there is no tomorrow and if we are going to be able to eliminate him from the game like there is no tomorrow, we are going to be completely fine. As you can see, I am being involved in this battle, I believe that's fair to say and that's clear and at this point we might take 300 in the face from him, luckily we didn't. And we know Hellcat is sniping from the back. It doesn't really matter because we should be able to reload in time. So he won't punish us, although I am wrong. Shame. Um, I thought our DPM is good enough not to get punished by this gentleman like so. But uh, as you can see, I am wrong. Okay, I have another idea. Skill, what kind of idea do you have? So at this time, I'm going to turn around and I am going to go for this cover too. Uh, if the things will go well, we should be able to eliminate this cover too from the game like there is no tomorrow and after that we can start approaching the Mr. Um King Tiger. Speaking about King Tiger, it is way better tank than Tiger P, but it's still not the best vehicle in the world of tanks, if you know what I mean. So, Mr. Kava 2, how are you doing today? We are approaching him from behind. Luckily, he is not paying too much attention. And since he is not paying too much attention, we are going to track him. It doesn't matter if he can look at us frontally if he doesn't have AP ammunition. I am not too paranoid by this. And now we are tracking him um, for a second time. So what that gives for us, that gives for us uh, uh, farming him like there is no tomorrow. This is so far a good play. I am very, very happy with my performance and how we are approaching this battle overall. So that's great. Meanwhile, the um, Tiger, King Tiger, he noticed uh, um, we, uh, we slaughtered his friend and at this point probably he is going to get uh, involved himself. And this is not exactly what I want to do and this is not how I would love to play my game but it is how it is. Meanwhile, luckily our support is arriving, right? He is smart cookie. He noticed that there is an angle over the... Um, through the... Whoop. Wait. There is an angle how he can hit me while using this cover to uh, dead body, but luckily for us we did everything ideally. And skill, no, how dare you to raid the Tiger P is a bad tank, you are kicking some ass and you don't have the best crew, but skill! The thing is... I am quite lucky in this game and keep this in mind, not everyone will have balls like I did to make a pressure through the middle of the field here and to approach um, way more forces in a way, right? Keep this in mind. Not everyone will notice this situation and this weakness in a way as wrong as it sounds. And this is very important thing to highlight, fellas. Um, whenever I am saying the tank is weak, right? I am saying this on purpose, um, well, on purpose, because there is a reason for that, right? Um, at least that's what I want to believe. And this vehicle is definitely not the easiest tank to play with, and it's definitely not the best tank in the world of tanks, even though we are having relatively um, good experience overall. The last enemy, now the question is, can we arrive in time to uh, smack the ass? Because more I think, more I... Uh I see it is not going to be the case. Okay, let's teleport into the scoreboard, board, shall we? And we are back with pretty damn good score. 3000 damage, 200 assisting damage, solid ace, uh, 1.3 base experience and 40,000 profits. Okay, okay fellas, not bad whatsoever. Let's go for round number 3. Oh boys and boys, oh boys, oh boys, yeah, this is not what you want to see, I can promise you that, okay, this is not what you want to see, um, but we have a tier 9 matchmaking, which is definitely not ideal, but we will try to make it work and uh, we will fight for our life for obvious reasons, so, first things first, what is the plan? Our plan is relatively simple, all we want to do, we want to take this typical position here. This typical position is absolutely amazing, but in the same time, um, it is quite risky as well. Because if enemies knows how to blind fire, they are going to dig us like there is no tomorrow. And in the same time, it can be um, quite complicated, I would say. So, 
Let's see, how lucky are we going to be in this battle? This is my favorite position to use though. It works the best for me, I like it and I'm having pretty good time. This gentleman he knocked the trees in the wrong side. He needed to tr knock the trees towards the enemies like this. This position is kind of ruined for us at, that, uh, at this point. Mm, unfortunately Bora doesn't really know what he is doing or he is thinking he is only one who uh, is going to play in this position over there. Maybe that's the main reason why. Anyway, since matchmaking is so horrible for us, um, what we are going to do, we are going to get ourselves uh, um, full gold on for obvious reasons and hopefully with a full gold we will be able to penetrate some of them higher tier tanks or heavy tanks right this is very important thing to say so if i'm not mistaken in this position i shouldn't be uh spotted that easily and if i am not spotted i should be able to um smack them like there is no tomorrow one more tip for every single of you out there fellas um keep this in mind you don't need to uh go super aggressively like this like our t29 is doing just because you can uh play where we are playing with this 45 tp and if you are going to play where we are playing with this 45 TP um, you are going to be relatively safe um, and there is a big chance you are not going to get spotted unless uh, um, unless you will I know it sounds quite weird but I had many situations when there is sneaky IS7 sitting here and I am playing in the opposite side and I simply cannot outspot him I cannot do absolutely anything for this gentleman and there is nothing what I could do about this Anyways, what we are waiting for, we are waiting for until uh, enemy IS-2S will get involved. In this situation, fellas, trust me in this one. You do not need to be aggressive whenever you are bottom tier in many, many situations. Obviously, you can make pressure whenever you know the enemy flank is weaker. Um, but other than that, if you are seeing your team is not performing that great as you would love to. If you are seeing the score is kind of equal but you are losing uh, um, on HP quite a bit, you can slow down a bit, you know, slow down the horses and try to wait until enemies will mess up. And whenever enemies will mess up, you can go in like there is no tomorrow, you know. Even though I understand our team needs help here, it is still extremely um, hard situation for us. It truly is. Meanwhile, we have Vaza in the back here. And this is not very good. Okay, luckily, he did not react it properly towards us. This is good. I want to hit Borat. Unfortunately, I am missing every single shot. And so far, we dealt only 200 damage, which is not ideal, but that's what we have. Um, I have an idea. I am going to go for a base defense at this point. I am getting more and more and more paranoid uh, and this is no bueno fellas. Plus on top of that, if I am not mistaken how the things will go here, um, obviously enemies will slaughter our T95 and after that we need to kind of defend our base as well. Uh, to prevent them from capping the base or um, hopefully uh, smacking them once or twice while they are coming closer for us, right? Let's see. Nice. It was important kill, fellas. Um, it is very important to keep eliminating the gun. So, for example, if there is half HP convoy or a one shotable light tank, I will always go for a light tank unless I am going for extremely hard uh, marking session, if you know what I mean. This is only one way uh, how I would consider a different choice, you know, and the different option overall. Okay. I don't like this whatsoever. Let's try to make pressure for this IS-2S. If we are going to do everything properly, we are going to eliminate this gentleman from the game in approximately 4 seconds, 3 seconds, 2 seconds, 1 second he is dead. And at this point we want to figure out how to deal with a Mr. Borat. I know, 
Borat is not looking too sweet for us and believe me, he is, he is not an easy target to deal with, I can promise you that. Meanwhile, our IS-3 is getting slaughtered by um, a T-29 and by convoy, which is definitely not good, but nothing that we can change about this. And at this point, if I am reading this map correctly, what might happen, Borat might try to flank us like this. Luckily, I am wrong. That's completely fine, fellas. There is nothing bad to be wrong. And what I want to see, I want to see this T-29 making pressure like this in front of us. That's completely fine, fellas. I know it sounds weird still how it can be uh, fine, but it is. Whenever we are seeing T-29 in front and we should see him in 3 seconds, I believe. 3, 2... One, we are going to start slaughtering him, right? That's the whole plan of all this. It is very important thing to say. Okay. Convoy, he's down to two shotable if I am lucky. I am very, very well aware about the Artas, okay? I am very well aware about the Artas. T29, can we deal with him? Beautiful tracking shot. He's down to two shotable if I am lucky. The question is, am I lucky? Extremely good. I am not lucky, but that's okay. Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Now, what I am curious about, I'm curious about the convoy. Luckily, we managed to find the shot. I am going to go for another one, and I don't really think he's going to reload in time. Beautiful. Very nice. Uh, he just fired, so we can go for another uh, blind shot just like so. We killed Convoy, this is absolutely amazing, now what we need to do, we need to deal um, with this T-29 before it's too late. Luckily for us T-29 missed, but we missed as well, which kind of sucks, but it is how it is. Let's try to hit him once again if we will have a possibility, and luckily high roll here, excellent. Okay, Borat. Borat. Very hard game. Extremely hard game, fellas. Extremely hard game. There is a chance this Borat relocated. There is a chance this Borat relocated, I would say. I need to try to make pressure for him. It is super important, fellas. I hope he's not sitting in the middle at this point. Luckily, he isn't. That's good. Is he sitting somewhere here? No, he is not. Okay, that's uh, that's a game, fellas. Holy bananas from Banana Land, we need to think. We need to think, please, my man, just don't push on Borat by yourself, because otherwise this is literally game over. Borat is one of the most powerful tanks, in my humble opinion, speaking about the um, premium tanks, especially if Borat is a very smart player. I don't like my position. I do not like my position, fellas. Mm, yeah. I think there is only one way how we could potentially do the things. Um, and it is to sit um, back somewhere here. Because Borat can cross like this now, Borat can do whatever, flying if he wants, and there is nothing to do, uh, and there is nothing what I can do in order to stop the, uh, this gentleman, there is literally nothing to do for us. I know Artas more likely they are relocating to this side, more likely, and this is definitely not ideal, but that's what we have. Hard game. Okay, uh, let's be patient and let's wait until Mr. Borat will make one or another mistake. I think this is only one way how we can do this. I truly do not like our 45 TP going full balls in, um, but in the same time, uh, maybe it is going to pay off for him and maybe I am just simply special, which could be very possible, fellas. Maybe I am the one who is misplaying this battle.
And once again, we have a horrible situation speaking about matchmaking, which we have, right? Uh, whenever we are having minus too much making, we are bottom tier, we are in humongous trouble. And I know the score is not looking great in this game. Well, apart those blind shots to the convoy. Um, but I would say we are doing, um, we are doing things well. I honestly think we are doing things well. And there is not too many things to expect considering the tank Tiger P, you know? Where is the board? Where is the board? This is the question. We know art is definitely relocated from here. That's a fact. Okay, let's try to get a bit more involved. What is the penetration with the high explosives? 44. I think it's way too risky to go for Borat. But if Borat is down to one shotable, this is not that bad as you might think it is. No, he isn't one shotable. Unless RNG is going to be in our side. Good, now he is one shotable. Excellent. And at this point I am pretending I am going for him just like so. But reality is a bit different. And I am turning around like this. So I am trying to cut this gentleman just like so. And I hope he is not going to realize I am playing the mind games against him. That's what I am hoping for, because if he is smart, he might try to go on my ass to the other side and that wouldn't be very nice, if you know what I mean. And that wouldn't be very nice, if you know what I mean. Arta, that's okay. Borat. See him. Good. The last art is here. The last art is here, mate. The last art is here. He is here! Mate, right there, one minute left. Yop tararai. Yop tararai. One minute left. Divide, 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 divide. Let's carry this game. This would be absolutely amazing. He is sitting next to the red line here. I am pretty sure. Maybe he is too lazy to move. Let's get real. I am not going to reach um, this Arta in time, okay? I am not going to reach him in time. But what I can do, I can try to go for a blind shots like there is no tomorrow. And maybe one of those blind shots are going to uh, hit the Arta. This is only one thing what we can do. I mean... Considering with what kind of tank we played, fellas, we did a great job, okay? Yeah, unfortunately, 45TP did not spot at him next to the red line. That's shame. Nothing to do about this, fellas. Nothing to do about this. So, uh, it was overall very, very good game. I am super proud of uh, what kind of decisions we made. Um, but, unfortunately, we did not manage to win. But, you know what? Draw as a... Tier 7 shitter who uh, tried to annoy the tier 9 tanks, tier 8 tanks. Borat, which wasn't one shotable. Conway, which had like 700 HP. T29 and so on. I would rate this battle as a solid success, fellas. Um, it was truly amazing game. I am very proud of the last battle, fellas. So let's talk um, this game. 
convoy we pretty much cut by uh, him by a half nice anyways 2.3 thousand damage 1.2 thousand blocking damage which is absolutely amazing and uh, very very impressive and overall i would say it was a pretty damn good game um i am proud of my result and i'm proud of my battle anyway 17 thousand profits which is completely fine unfortunately a draw so in the end of the day we have 2.5 thousand damage 500 assisting damage and i would rate this session as extremely good session for a tiger p so thank you very much for watching i hope you had a great time and i hope you enjoyed yourself and see you very very soon skill is out for today peace